guys, welcome back to D&D. We are, a uh, quick recap of last episode, we are exploring what's north of the giant pillar. Turns out, it's lots of monks and ogres and shit. So, here we are fighting them. Thought we were fighting ogres, instead we're fighting a million monks who've stunned me. Uh, and, uh, party members have abandoned me. And we're about to light everything on fire, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, upcast Wall of Fire. Okay. Do we want our, um, our opening scene? So, oh, yeah. um... Yeah, we're, coming yeah. on, we're coming on a forest, and uh, it's kind of from the perspective of maybe like a woodland creature, because it's quite up high in a tree, looking down in like a clearing. We see like a broken, disheveled, like maybe shrine to some kind of old god. There's like fungus and mold growing on it, and it looks very, very uh, old and ancient. In front of that, we see um, what looks to be some kind of acolyte of Moradin. There's a cleric uh, in like a robe with a nice long stave, and it's got like a wooden sort of symbol at the top of it, um, made out of... Uh, like a nice sort of marble. And then uh, beside that is a paladin, uh, also sort of in the full plate. And you can see that they're sort of looking at this ruin and talking. And in the distance, we can see Brother Tyne is riding towards these people quite slowly. So yeah, we come back to Delphidius casting Wall of Fire. Uh, let me give you control of that. Hang on. There you go. Which side is the spicy side? Right. Are you muted? You're muted. Ah, I'm muted. That explains it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to move it just to kind of where I did there. Uh, so I can still get past it to the bottom of the basin, although I can just crawl over the basin with water walking. Uh, I'm going to have the facing east. You can definitely do that better. Do you have to be able to see all of the places? Because it says anything anything that the, is encompassed by it takes the damage and then one side. So if you put that slightly angled, you could probably encompass the one monk as well. I don't know if it's maybe too much hassle to figure out I think out that's that super else. janky. I don't sure that angle doesn't exist to me. I'm looking at it and like it's just like a you're like we're drawing it behind him like and stuff like that. Like to me it doesn't seem reasonable. So I'm not gonna right. to me. How do we feel about like the fact that it. in character he can't see this part of the room? Well, I I'm fine moving it past up. it. Yeah. So what I mean, like, so where are you gonna move to? Is what I'm asking, I guess. Because Right now, I just want to. I can't. Let's see. You create a wall and a salt service file. I don't know, do we think he needs to be able to see it to cast into this room, or do we think that it casts on yeah, the? Yeah, sure. Just walk across. Just walk across to the west of this. Pile. I mean, I can just move up. It's just yeah. nice to have cover where I am. I like my position, um, so I don't mind. Seems, it seems it's... to me, if he put a, um, put it at the tip of the. Uh, the... So you can see further into the room now. If he put it right at the tip of that basin and then just sent it 60 south, it would just go 60 south, whether that you can see it or not. Yeah. Seems to me. But if I need to see it, that's I'm okay with however the party wants to handle it. Presumably way, there are five hostages um, directly below the place that we can see right now that you're right. trying yeah. to place a wall of fire on and kill. Yeah. So I guess the limit it goes to is there because that's the wall. Okay. Um, what level is that spell? Uh, level f I upcast it. To what? Uh, to level five. If you okay, so the details are above the spell card. What would dispel magic have to beat to beat that? Counters. Uh, spell? he's asking about dispel magic. Let me quickly. Let's see. Let's get That's there. interesting because I upcast it. It's a level originally. It's a level four. Spell. It doesn't matter. It's not about dispel magic. Just like that. I mean, I guess if, I can do. I can if you it. are in exact line of sight of a wizard when you cast it, you should stand in a place where the wizard can't see you and cast it. He's not trying to counterspell it, Steve. He's trying to dispel it on his turn. So it doesn't make any difference. There you go. Uh, to do for each spell of fourth level or higher, DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. So it needs to beat a 15. Okay, that's fine. Okay, four, go four, four, So 15. which side's the toasty side, as you say? Uh, it's going east. Okay, so what does it do? It does how much damage? Did you roll that? Uh, yeah, 5d8, yeah, and it's rolled there. So that's everything that it hits, and on the other side of it, it takes all, they all take that damage. Yep, yeah. okay. Yeah. So let's just move this a second. These, uh, so this scorching flame rushes down the corridor through the entire door. The door begins to burn off of its hinges. There's um, a deck save. 
you know, God, they can run through it though without taking damage. There's a wave of like fiery force oh, no. that blasts to the yeah. east, and then all four of these guys just fall down or disappear, I suppose. But you, I guess you don't even see that because the, f the fire just like consumes the entire doorway, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and then I'm gonna... how high do you make it? Because I guess you can decide for the height of it as well. So, uh, I'm gonna make it see a like wall 20 feet. Is it, like, is it the entire doorway of fire? Yeah, I'm going yeah. maximum height. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right, I'm making so the sucker you, huge. You moved, uh, so it's this guy's turn. He's but it does make it opaque. It specifically says in the description that you can't see through it. So he's going to cast a spell magic. Uh, let's see if he can work out what level it is to see if he needs to know to upcast it. So we'll do an arcana roll. Mm, I'll say no. So he's going to use a normal one. So then I have to beat 15. Mm -hmm. And it adds my spell modifier. Is that right? Um, a normal one can't no, it, beat it, it is, I mean, I think it would say so if in Dispel Magic. If it, say, it doesn't ten, mention it. You make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. So, yeah, you would add your... Oh, using your Whatever your modifier is. So, like, plus three, four. Okay. So, if, okay. if you, yeah, if he's charisma-based magic, he would use... Okay. So he fails. Okay. Um, and then... Can I put that on the map? There we go. Okay. And then you see him, Dolphidius, uh, sort of walk into the room somewhere. He goes to plan B. He gets a small uh, glass of water and begins splashing the wall of fire. Yeah. So the Soga comes barreling through the broken wall. Uh, he's going to take swings at Thaddeus. 18, 18, 21. Nope. Okay. And there's your go, Thaddeus. What do you do? Um, I'm gonna shield slam him and then bludgeon okay. him. I think. <laughs> so it's done. Oops, shit. So that's Sorry, uh... you still beat him. Yep. So he's now prone. Okay. So then I'll turn the advantage back on and hit him twice. That's one and two. So the first blow. What's the first damage from the first blow? Ten. Ten. So that'll kill him. He like smashes his head in as he's on the floor after knocking him down with the shield. Alright, then I'm going to um, step south um, next to Eldrin here and use the second attack on the monk beside him. Okay. You want to roll the damage for that? Twelve? Okay, so you sort of turn around, charge for this monk, knock him down as well. All right, and I think that's all I can do. Okay, Eldrin. Oh, actually, I can keep moving, can I? If you've got movement, yeah. Um, five, ten, yeah, I've got movement, so I'm going to step there. I'm stunned, so I lose my stun status effect. That's all I do. Okay. And then the ogre, so 10, 20, 30... <laughs> I guess he will dash, so 10, 20... I'm able to tell yeah. that Eldrin is alive. <laughs> and then same here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, comes to this door here, uh, Baritim. You see these ogres coming out the door, a wall of fire bearing down on the... Have either of these been fireballed? Yep. Yeah, you've the one directly in front of you seems to have scorch marks across his chest. Alright, I'm going to attack that one once then. Okay. 15 hits. For 20. Okay. Is that enough to kill it? Not quite. I'm going to use my bonus action to attack it with my short sword. Okay. Ooh, that's you... a crit. Ow. So this does an extra 2d6 on the crit roll. Nice. For 12. How do you kill this ogre with a crit? Viciously. Um, <laughs> yeah, this little janky short sword that Tim acquired in Waterdeep, just like while the ogre is looking at the dagger, the short sword comes up and hits it through the ribs. Okay, perfect. I'm going to step to this monk and attack this with Tinder Strike. Okay. So you lean forward and like drive the dagger into his head, and he falls down dead as well. And I'm going to step back to the ogre and attack that. Okay. Awesome. That will, will hit as well. So it takes 10. 
So everyone just sees Ferretim, well, apart from maybe Dolphidius, uh, blurring around at speed, just stabbing random, uh, sorry, precisely against uh, all the enemies as they just fall down one <laughs> at a time. All I can see is him eventually showing up and stabbing yeah. this one, and I'm like, oh, okay, so he's just kind of stabbing him this guy's turn. Meanwhile, I, in most of my field of view, see my awesome roaring field and flame of fire, so I'm just like, yeah, I'm killing it right now. <laughs> Uh, and uh, that being said, I am thankful that some damage got across on our big friend over there because it allows me to toll the dead pretty happily. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's a DC wisdom save. On the ogre. On the ogre, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Ten. Okay, so full damage. Fourteen. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to move... Just the north of the basin. I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. 10, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30. Uh, Thaddeus, Dolphidius, and Eldrin see a monk come running out of the fire. He kicks off the side of the wall, and as he comes out of the flames, you can see he's like bathed in this like magical kind of shield that's like covering his body. He lands and dashes towards Eldrin. So whatever that shield is prevents any wall of fire damage. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's shield. Of fire no, that's wall. cool. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to uh, roll anything. So he's gonna <laughs> off balance. The first fist, like he's traveling a bit too quickly, he glides past Eldrin. Eleven. He kind of comes back and misses again. And he's got a. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say Eleven. he's got a third strike, right? So I was gonna cast warding flare that. Sure. Time. So he. Well, I can do that again. The if he, it's a disadvantage, so the second time he'll... So he rolls, oh, nice! He's, like, he's obviously uh, way too quickly coming at him from the flames, and he's like his fists are just like going all over the place. And I'm going to hit him for trying to hit someone besides me. Yeah, sounds fine. Thank you, Dolphin. I'm glad I actually mentioned the warding flare just like a moment before yep. you rolled that 24. Oh. Yep. Alright, so I hit him for 15. It comes to a gliding stop, and... Thaddeus knocks him down dead. <laughs> Glides gracefully into Thaddeus's hammer with his face. <laughs> just like, close, close line him with my, my yeah, hammer. Yeah, it's not even like a real hit. It's just like one of those bonks on the head with the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go off. Wall of fire just magically dissipates and disappears. What? Shall we go, Thaddeus? That's giving news. Super bad news, isn't it? Yeah, super good news. Now we can go kill the last guy. Could kill the ogre before the ogre slammed me. I mean, I guess technically I'm the only one you could see. You might just hit me. Um. No, I can go kill that ogre. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go kill that ogre. That's why I will shield slam him. Damn it, for 18, not 21. And is that going to automate? I've got a macro, but I think it's only. Oh, it is going to do a nice. Oh, well, let's see if he survives the 18 or not. So he, he. What happens if they tie? He stays up. Stays up. Okay. So it's oh, just. So I'm not at advantage. It so doesn't matter, but all of them hit. There's no crit. Okay. So you can just take the damage on the top one twice. Right. Okay. Okay, so it does. Um, well, they all hit him anyway. So three attacks hit him. So what's two, that? That's... Two two attacks hit him. Twenty seven. Okay, so that will kill. Him. Yep. All right. So I moved um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty to get there. So I'll just step into this doorway and check to see if anything's coming this direction. Okay. I'm going to go kill the caster you left down there, Thaddeus. So my wall of flame got dispelled, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. Um, all right, I'm going to kind of groggily look around and realize I've missed the entire fight. Uh, just look at the kind of piles of corpses and everyone else is totally untouched. and kind of like, man, i got a lot to learn about this adventuring gig. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to head, <laughs> head south. <laughs> Do I see anyone when I get to there? Yep. Hang on a second. Okay. 
So you can see in this room, a wooden torture rack stands in the middle of the room. Ooh. Upon it is a dead blonde girl just laid uh, across the table. Dead? Yep. Manacles hang from the walls and fiendish hooks and blades and clamps hang on the back wall. There are four cramped iron cages um, to the room's west, occupied by some different types of characters. You want to make a perception roll as you go in to see if you want to notice what these are? Sure. You can make out that there's a female human, a male human, a female uh, dwarf, um, and what looks like a dead the corpse of a male half-elf noble in some way. It's just, but I don't see any wizard in here. Oh, yeah, sorry, hang on. There's a guy in the wrong over layer. Who's that? Okay. Um, do I... Okay, so I see these people. <laughs> so I see this person here. I'm going to shoot this wizard, I think. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do... So with five there. First thing I'm going to do is just shoot him with a, a trip attack here. Okay, so uh, let me roll the shot. So this is the actual attack is that. Oh, I just uh, oh, I <laughs> You don't have okay. bless. It's only a 31. You don't have bless. It's only a 31. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to add, as I said, I'm going to add trip attack to that. So this is trip attack for the text uh, of that. So, uh, all right. So the damage roll is that plus 2d8. Uh, so, so it's him for 27. Okay. And he needs to make a save. Strength? Uh, yeah. Against, never mind. So he's fallen over. Yeah, he gets knocked over. Uh, and then he's prone now. And I'm going to take three more steps close to him to get point blank. And then I'm going to take two shots, more shots at him while he's on the ground. Do we want to keep this guy for questions? I was going to say, we could kneecap him and then torture him because we have a perfectly good torture rack right there. Yeah, it looks used though. I like. A, I prefer a fresh one. Fresh I would. One. I would keep him alive. Yeah. I. Would, I, I just have this image really in my head. That. I have just walked in and Thaddeus seen, like, doing the torturing, like stuck in the middle with you playing in the background as we close the door. <laughs> Thaddeus dances yeah, around the rack. Telepathic bond on Thaddeus and this guy, and then he just starts screaming, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> uh, How good is a hand cross sweat non-lethal attacks? Uh, okay, sure. I'm gonna, as a wizard, I know that his kind of casting is real intricate and he requires like hand gestures. I'm gonna try to uh, destroy the bone and tendon of his hands and arm with the hand crossbow. Okay, it's a cold <laughs> shot, right? Yeah, uh, I'll take that at advantage since he is. Do I get an advantage? He's prone. Yeah, anything within five foot is advantage. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, that's why I knocked him over. All right, there's the first one. It's so a 11. I'll miss. Sucks. Okay. And then why is it doing this with blood? Oh, except blood's turned on. That's why. And then the second one Why did I only is... give you two? Don't you have Alvin Act here? I do. I get one more of those. That's because, sorry, I did the wrong thing. So I need to read one, one more and see if it hits. Uh... No, it didn't. So, okay, now the second attack is coming now. So, because I haven't made one for a single attack yet, Steve. Yeah. It's kind of obnoxious. Yeah, yeah. Imagine uh, he's just yelling, where's Rachel, while he's shooting at the hands. Okay, one more with that. Uh, yeah. Is it 22 hit? Uh, so he's going to cast shield. Okay. And then they all miss. Okay. Uh, I've got five more point of movement. I'm good where I am, I think. Okay. Tim? Let's see. So 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 45. 50, 65, 70. It's no problem. Uh, attack my prone wizard friend here. Sorry, were we non lethaling this guy? I, I was trying to prevent his ability to ever cast a spell again as long as he lives. So, yes? Uh, I am impulsive. I'm just going to try to kill him. So, I have three attacks. That one of these. Any of those hit? <laughs> so let's see. It's 19 plus 5 is 24. So, so the last three? The last three. 
So that's 15. And then 19. total, I believe. And then two. Okay. You come in and slash this guy up as he's on the floor. You can see, like, you know, your first one hits the shield, and then the other four, just, the other three, just kind of break through. Dolphidius? Uh, kind of mosey on down. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, kind of just look look to the uh, look to the east. I'm gonna hold my action. And I'll just cast a, I don't know, like a firebolt or something if I see it walk in from the east. Okay. Uh, he's gonna stand up. Uh, you can see, uh, you guys both make, I guess, Steve can make an arcana, and you want to make a perception roll, filthy? Okay. Okay, you can't yep. tell, that's fine. Uh, so he's going to make um, an attack against Eldrin. Okay. 23. That will hit. You take 15 you piercing. right now? Am I getting wet? You're getting yeah, he's like got this right two-handed stave, and he's just like whacking you pretty hard with it. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna like take how the stave is piercing, so he's actually... He takes a second attack. He misses. He takes a third attack. That hits. Okay. I'm going to be he meleeing down by the fucking wizard. Are you kidding me? You take 20 piercing. Knocks me out. He's going to take a fourth attack on Tim. Four attacks. And a um, spell, apparently. Beast and then mode. he's going to... Move here. Did I that is down my hasten blade song. I don't think I did. Um. All right. So I assume I'm aware of all that, but I am super slow. What the hell? There's a door over there. You could scout it while we're doing this. <laughs> well, I wondered. I I seriously am considering whether that makes sense. But there are civilians in there with you, and I don't trust you don't any know that. of you. Yeah, I do. Well, we're telepathically linked. I think if you're telep... Yeah, it depends how... I presumed you were just telepathically telling each other you're, stuff. All you get from me during that was surprise, then a little confusion, then ow, and then nothing. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, then probably I'm coming to check on you. <laughs> okay. Um, when you're stunned, do you lose your telepathic link? No, it's just what comes through. It's like... You can't fly. You get, like, secondhand drunk. Yeah. What is that? Like, five... 10, 15, 20. I think I can go one more. Okay. And I might as well dash because there's no reason to stand there, right? Right. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I think I get there. <sighs> Survive um, the Minotaur's meleeing me, but the mage is the one who gets it. And I, because I dashed, I can't do anything else. Nope. You're like a chackle, this mage. You wouldn't know who that is, but he cast the spells. <laughs> he seems good at melee. Got high AC. Has access to shield. It's a yeah. potent, potent combination. Yeah. What are you gonna do, filthy? You Lay there. <laughs> I'm well, fucking unconscious. Yeah, while he's taking his time lying there, I'm just a. You need to make a death save. Check off. Oh, I have to make a death save. Beautiful butterfly yeah. in his white cocoon. <laughs> All right, that's safe. It's a fail. Well, Tim. Hmm. So, what are the rules for potioning, uh, filthy here? Is it a free action because of the thing on his belt? For the first, it is for your fight? belt. So I can use my belt as a free action to potion him. All right. Well, I might as well make my attacks first. Okay. So. Got one of those. Oh, mm. this hits, right? 24. He's going to shield again. But 24 still hits, even through a shield. Oh, it's wait. Yeah, yeah, well. So he won't shield. So you hit him? 17. 17. Why does it 24 hit through shield? Because he's total CAC? 24. Uh, 24. Yeah, yeah, we just uh, knew it from a previous 24. Is he still alive? Yep. Oh, my fucking God. Right. Does he look especially uh, profity? Now he's going to shield. Okay. Uh, you're not in the room. <laughs> you have exactly like the Darkest Dungeon Prophet, for example. 
He looks like a. So I'll show you what he looks like. Hang on. There you go. I like his brown robes. Just like metallic. I love his moo moo. I love his what's battle moo moo. <laughs> <laughs> and also, what's that green liquid dripping down his chin? I didn't notice the green liquid. Interrupted. I don't know about that. It's a head cold. He's got a head like, cold. Leave him alone. He's wearing oh. it, but I'm totally going to take that once I find out about yeah. it. This is my bonus action. Oh! All right, that's my bonus action with my vicious sword, short sword. I assume sword. we're gonna use that for non-lethal to like. Come no, hell no. <laughs> that's yeah, the did, you just, did you just crit for nine? Yeah. yeah, I did. That sword is so much weaker than your other one, isn't it? Is oh it? yeah, it's a. Oh no, you just rolled two. Yeah. Three's three's ones. Wow. Okay. Uh, he is still alive. Oh, actually, my crit should be a one d six plus two d six. So, you want well, to do else? it should have been slightly more. Yeah, I'll uh, free action a potion to healthy. Okay. You want to roll that? That's all. 4d4 plus 4. Do I roll it or does he roll it? I think you do because you're doing it. Dolphin? That was my finest potion. <laughs> you heal 10, Dolphin? Uh, right. I'm going to walk into the room. Uh, I'm gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna appreciate the see, entire. Like, as he ends there, you see like Eldin on the floor, and like Tim is like force feeding him a potion. And uh, you, and he I, has I know big bruises from where the stave is like him. And I know that Dolphin, as a character, is particularly good at uh, making uh, like inferences from like two points of data, and he decides that's how it goes. I imagine at this point you assume I'm either drunk or incompetent because I spent the whole last round just swaying in place, and then this one I'm on the ground and. Tim's like, come on now, get up. <laughs> well, the thing that confuses my character the most right off the bat is I walk into the room and I see that there are three cages with people in them and then one empty cage. So my immediate inference is that we've taken one of the prisoners out of the cage and started beating them. Yeah. So the um, <laughs> and I'm like immediately morally conflicted about this. <laughs> Um, but I go ahead and, and what is the conflict? I'm afraid they're going to turn on me if I go against them. So I'm going to go <laughs> cast Hold the Dead on the uh, guy on the ground. Makes sense. Perfect. So it's DC 17. We'll, we'll just pretend that Dolphidius doesn't notice the corpse in that cell instead. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Okay, so he definitely fails. Yeah, he so takes how much? Does. 26. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. This is a nice spell. They gotta be damaged for it to do that much, but come on, that happens. Yeah, it's good. It's, as a cantrip, that's great. So you just see this guy just like go, Aah! and then like collapse. <clears throat> you come back. Wonder who that was. So when that happens, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 14. Is that good enough to notice that the uh, was the uh, prison cage door open or closed? closed and there's a corpse inside it okay so yeah. i'm able to like kind of once i've made the kill i'm able to piece together that this was one of the bad guys okay i'm gonna start ritual casting tiny hut in the doorway so like right where dolphin is basically is where i want it centered as we... i'm not gonna move i assume the rest of the party is gonna start talking to the prisoners and stuff i think okay. thaddeus is probably gonna do that i just like I've been unconscious, I'm kind of back up, and I'm kind of a bit woozy, and I'm going to concentrate a second and use Healing Wind on myself. What did I give you? Health. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what were you asking? What's the, like, how does it work? Is it just like a... Are you Is wanting the mechanics, or you like how it works? I, I just... Or the yeah, floor. right there, Adam. I wasn't sure if it let you spend hit dice or exactly what it did. Cause... No, it's just it's just an addition. It's just a once per short rest thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, oh, that's funny. If I guys... cast this here, oh, the prisoners say, so just, like, can't get, leave like, the room for eight hours. While the prisoners are there. Well, I'm Sorry. casting it right now for the next ten minutes, and presumably we would want the prisoners to be in it by the time I finish casting it, so that they can go in and out too. Assuming they are prisoners and not spies hiding in cages. Yes, but for right now, I'm trying to block the doorway off so that we can 
uh, get sure. some health back for Aldrin if needed without getting that, ambushed. That's fine. I don't. I don't care if they're trapped in here for eight hours. Where are they going to go otherwise? Yeah. Well, um, are you going to talk to them, Thaddeus? Yeah. yeah. What are you going to say to them? Um, I think I'm going to. Um, based on my conversation with Adam earlier, I'm going to ritual cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> That's Beautiful. so good. Okay, so Did for those that don't know, uh, Kevin and I had a discussion it. before we started this session that he wanted some ritual spells. And because they're like out of combat, kind of, you know, not too strong, I thought it's okay for him to have that. So we have Zone of Truth. What else was there? Magic Circle and your horse? And my horse. Yeah. So that's, what is it? How big is it? Um, I believe it is a 10 Why foot. Why don't you cast it in the hut? A 10 foot radius? Time. But or then it's going to affect us. You might be worried about yeah, it. Yeah. Well, um, Can you link it, Kevin? Yeah, I was trying to work on that. Hang on a sec. Okay. Let me see if... Uh... Is it like AoE or do we get to choose targets? Um, does that link it? There you go. Nice. Enchantment to ritual. Is this what you're spending your inspiration on, being able to ritual cast things? <laughs> um, we didn't talk about that being the cost. <laughs> the way you're casting it, it's this big. Can oh, I ritual crap. cast things as a fighter? You don't have any spells. You ritual cast right. auto attack. Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> Ten minutes. Got less efficient, but at least it doesn't use any resources. Um, so this is... Um, what do you want, Kevin? This is everyone in it? I don't know. Where do you want it? No, I'm... <laughs> Absolutely I'm, <laughs> put it on the rest of us. I'm going to kind of stay the on the body? far side of the hut. Um, no, I think just right where you had it. Just uh, Have I got control over that? Yeah. So yeah. just um, just beside the hut here is good. So is that where Eldrin is stood? Yeah. Okay. I've come up to help translate for that. So you need to make a charisma saving throw, Filthy. Okay. And I will roll one for each of these. What have I got to beat, Kevin? Um, what is that? My spell save thing? Oh, shit. Opening the wrong thing. Um, I think that's... 15 if it's computed right automatically. Okay, so. Got a 20 failed. anyways, so. All right. Uh, you know, don't you, I think? You know, uh, the, yeah, so you know that the. Yeah, it uh, says you female, know whether a creature The female dwarf and the male human passed, and the female human in the top cell failed. And you also know that Eldrin passed. Um, <clears throat> and that's every round it's there, it has to try again? No. I think, if it starts see, its turn there, it must make a charisma saving throw. So I think that's every round, isn't it? Okay. So do you, just do you do questions it until eventually it'll go through? So, like, what's that? That's ten times. So that's a hundred saves they make in over ten minutes. <laughs> I, I don't no, know. The way the ritual cast works is it takes ten minutes to cast the spell. Not it doesn't get. It's not in effect during. Well, the time how long does it last? The spell is also saying. duration ten minutes. Yeah, it's, it's duration, duration ten minutes. Yeah. So that's a hundred, hundred saves. Uh, I have no idea how to roll this. I feel like I don't know. I thought it was if they passed, they they passed forever. When I the moment I fail, I close my mouth and I say nothing. But I was giving Thaddeus lots of compliments the previous six seconds. Now we're telepathically bound with Eldrin. Can he lie telepathically? <laughs> they speak. Um, speak a deliberate lie. Each of the answers the spells area for the first time on a turn. Yeah, I can't speak a deliberate turn. lie. Why would Eldrin speak, though? We're telepathically bound. Yeah. I don't know what to do now. Do they, like... That reads to me like they just keep... Stop making saves, <laughs> I I think that they have to tell us... I mean, they, they can't lie to us. I think that's what we've accomplished. Yeah, I guess we'll do with that. That's fine. 
I think it's not even that. I think I guess part of it is it seems like no matter what, if we're able to beat their check, then eventually we'll beat it. So the question is, do we want to decide as a balance purpose? Just make them roll once, or we assume they always fail. I like I like rolling once because I think you could just you could be super gimmicky about it. The creatures know if they failed, right? You know if they failed, so they could just stop talking for those six seconds and wait till they pass again. I kind really of scary. like the idea of just making it happen once, but that's just yeah. my immediate knee jerk, easily persuaded. Like I'm fine either way. I feel like that. We'll do that for now, and maybe I'll do some research. Okay. So. So it's cool in situations like this too, because like now we have our failed. target for that, or like Thaddeus has his target, right? Like, yeah. So you know that only one person failed, which is the top person, the female human. Is that what I said? <laughs> yeah. I can also, just yeah. not say anything though. Like they. Know These guys are all unconscious. So what do you do? They're oh. unconscious. <laughs> yeah, so not like not like dead. But like you know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you they are knocked get... out? Oh, Sorry, hang on, wait a minute. So the bottom one is on I just peek out of the hut and I see Thaddeus asking all these very intense <laughs> questions to a bunch of passed out. <laughs> Thaddeus, like, no, no, wakes no, no. one wait, awake. Wait, wait. Are you awake? And the, the guy think, tries to say, Rachel? I think I'm dead, but he realizes that he, like, can't say that, like, for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to lie yeah. about my death, but I can't. So the, the bottom dwarf is unconscious. The the human male um, looks to be like catatonic, and the female human it's like I don't know. She, she looks to be like a, a bit awake from all the fighting, but very weak and kind of frail. Okay, so we walk over there. Uh, my first thought is to give humanitarian aid. Thaddeus begins chanting and takes ten minutes doing this. So okay, at so the meantime, do? I've passed through. I've, uh, I've, you know, introduced myself. Said we're gonna help get you out of here. Uh, I've given them some water. Uh, asked them how they got there. Um, told them ignore him. He does this all the time. He's a bit weird. Uh, and otherwise, made introductions. Oh, uh, so only the girl can respond. I understand. Um, oh, hello, my name is Orna. I. Oh, I was indoctrinated into the cult and I dared to strike a priest, so they, they've locked me in here for for weeks. I just want to be out and free and kill them all. She's a cultist? She's a cultist. Thaddeus, she's I a was. cultist. Let me help you. Or set me free. Give me some weapon. She seems like quite mad and wild in her the way she's uh, I look for my sharpest sword and uh if I had a nickel for every time a person I was about to kill begged for mercy. Why would you kill me? I'll help you. All right, he's not here. He's chanting. They're all ritual casting. It's just me here <laughs> and fucking right. Dolphin. I think Dolphin's... Are you ritual casting too? Oh, Dolphin? yeah, no, you're doing this for the first 10 minutes, right? So, yeah. yeah. Really. I guess you may... I don't know, you can still... Can you still talk? I decided to poke my head out when I... I... I'm I busy so. verbally, but I can telepathically communicate right now. Oh, I think. okay. So you telepathically said, She's a cultist! <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, I, uh... I'm gonna... Okay, so the, the spell is not resolved yet. The true spell, right? Okay, so I'll say we'll get to that in just a minute. First, let's make sure you're all right and uh, take a second. It's probably been said. When was the last time you've eaten or drank anything? And uh, days. So I'll think. pass through some of my rations. The concept of time is so hard down here. I don't know whether it's been. How long has it been? And she's what just about like a little bit. What about the other two? Oh, I don't know. I think that that one there, and like you can see, this like this guy's like just like shaking and like scratching at a wall, and like it's like in a strange catatonic state. He was from the from the howling hatred cult. Ugh, they, I think we maybe they captured him and brought him here or something. I don't know. The the small one, the dwarf. Oh, we got her from the hills. She was mining. <laughs> they always mine. That's so stupid. Huh, we get them every time. They think there's stuff here for them. Uh, oh, and that one, the elf. Oh, he was, I don't know, something about a delegation? Which one is the elf? I, the, the, the dead one on the table? The dead oh. I say, table. stop, go back for a moment. This cat tonic you speak of, do you have any more of it? Your friend's strange. They're all uh, pretty strange. We, we, no, cat, uh, what? <laughs> all right, so, 
We'll just give them. I'll just give her food and water, and then I'm she going like to. She like immediately snatches anything you pass to her. Yeah, I also uh, attempt to give her uh, Thaddeus's hammer through the bars. No, nope. um, I think you might want to resolve that with Kevin first. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually have to. So you reach for Thaddeus's hammer, and Thaddeus I telepathically goes, say she. I want to resolve that with Mara. Then you have one. <laughs> <laughs> no. How far no. below the earth are we? Are we safe from lightning bolts in this room? <laughs> You're never safe from Borodin. You should know this. His posthumous form follows you everywhere. Uh, Alright, well, I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to let her out yet. I'm just going to try to... I guess by the time you like get to the point where you feed in water her, uh, yeah. Thaddeus puts his hand on the floor and this magical yeah. aura comes out. Okay. But she passed her, so she is, she can still lie. She's the one, only one that passed. Right? She's the only one that failed. Only one that failed. failed. Oh, okay. Nice. Don't you yeah, believe me? She's once fucking passed Thaddeus' test. She's spells before. Why? Let me help you. So while they're going through this, I'm going to investigate the room very carefully using perception. Um, my What I'm looking for is anything cat-related, um, but I am just looking in very close detail at all the items, the walls. Yeah, and yes, I want to loot that. The... That's cool. So you see, like, um, well, we'll say that Dolphidius just does that when he's doing this. So you yeah. find a set of keys on the Mage's corpse, and you find uh, very long, long set of keys. Yeah, you find a very long stave, and at the top of it is like a um, like a blue orb. Um, you want to make an Arcana roll? Yeah. yeah, I can do that. Nice. Um, so you can tell that uh, this orb at the end can be charged with magic um, to do some kind of like um, magical kind of ex small centered explosion, not like like a like a fireball, more like a mm -hmm. small like small thing that you could you know do on a person. Um, in mechanical terms, you can basically expend spell slots into that, and depending on what level you use, it does a certain amount of damage. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm gonna grasp gonna it. I'm gonna bring it up to eye level, and I'm gonna say orb. And I'm so gonna you're like it. holding it, and it's attached. So you want to just do you want to take it off the staff? I'd like to, yeah, if possible. Okay. You just roll a strength check for me? Sure. Strength mm -hmm. check. Oh boy, this is going to be something. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you roll a dex save uh, check as well. Sorry, not a save, yeah, just a sure. just roll dex. Okay, no, so HP, you yeah. pull it and it like pops out and it looks like it's going to like hit the wall and you just like put your hand out very quickly and reflexively catch it. Nice. Okay, I so. Let me just and he you. has a 25 minutes perception, so I think he notices that the orb, there's, it's a faceted orb, you said, right? Like, has it's been a cut stone, in other words, right? Yeah, it's like really smooth, yeah. right? It's like blue. Yeah, there's exact indentations of that, that's, that orb all over my body. Like a match <laughs> one to one. Yeah. <laughs> so, where is it? Hang on. I'm just trying to get the, the orb details. Yeah, here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Can I just link this? Yeah, okay. There you go. Ooh. Uh, so, cool. ignore... Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah. So, it can, so you can expend a spell slot to deal 2d8 bludgeoning plus 1d8 for each spell slot above the first. So I guess like this has to be used in like a touch sense. So yeah. it was used in melee on the staff, but you could maybe attach oh, it. Oh, I'm totally just going to hit people with my rock. Oh, I guess you could. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. perfect. Just for like, my character perfect. was built for this. I mean, um, I take it and I investigate it, and I can just tell it has like a spectacular shine to it, and I know what it's capable of due to my 23, like, not 20 Arcana roll, and I very... Can you roll an intelligence check too, Dolphin? Rocks. Give you plus one to hit. Like it's like a magical weapon in that sense. So if you're going to use it as a as a thing to hit someone, is that something that was attached to a weapon? Like, is it something yeah. we can attach to a weapon we already have? Or it was it at the end of the stave, so you could figure that as long. And as... he's just popped it off and popped it in his pocket. Yeah, we can use it for someone later, but right now I'm totally just going to fucking. Dolphin, can you roll an intelligence check? Yeah, intelligence check, rather. Yeah, my pleasure. Sure. Uh, I believe you think that you've found the cat tonic. <laughs> this is the legendary cat tonic. I consider busting it open uh, to get to the cat tonic inside, but I decide that there's too much at risk. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. 
All right. Um, two that questions. Would, is that... If I attach that to a weapon, no. do I get to say no. after I see you what my hit roll is? Whether I'm yes. using it? Yes. So it's like you adding it. smite you... to a character's yes. weapon? Yes. Oh my fucking god. But it can only be used by a spellcaster. Which, oh, you're which all spellcasters. Which I am. Well, so. Tilthy is not. Oh yeah, right. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Are you cause... really wanting to give him additional dice that roll? I'm not yeah. giving anyone anything. This is I'm the guy who does like 200 damage on the first round. You will deal with it as you will. Yeah, I got myself a Norbeer. I'm super happy with it. I mean, I, I have to work out how that. to trade with Dolphidius for this. I mean, right now I can upcast this like? with a five spell slot and do like 78. Like, just guess what he was going to do to Tim when he hit him. He was probably going to one shot him. <laughs> I have 77 health. It's quite. A I have spell 77 though. health. <laughs> but, yeah. You can't hit me. Well, he was going to give his best shot. <laughs> if he crit, anyway, he would have. So I guess we go back to, like, what is Eldrin still talking to them now? There's no nope. food, or Stadia's is taking over, or what? That is taking over now that he's done chanting. Okay. To do it, right. So it's on me. Well, yeah. um, I was wondering if we were cutting apart. We're right at the spot again. Yeah. Should we take a break here then and continue for the yeah. last hour? Do our, fast, well, our final right. session after this. Sounds good. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.